no matter how my physical fitness is. Like definition? Yeah, yeah. They're always like, no matter how husky I was or out of shape I was, my calves are always. I, you, I guess you part got, of that is also based on if I'm heavier, I feel like my calves are carrying more weight. If that, I'm not sure if that math makes sense. But you, you, you light on your feet. You light. Yeah, on your always, toes. always. Light, light on your yeah, toes. Guess, yeah. We got to get a video, or at least. We well, Hafey has a video of me running at paintball. Yeah. <laughs> I was scooting. That's not the same though. Like yeah, true. Basketball up, up and down the court. Basketball, tennis. Yeah, yeah. We'll get it. Oh yeah, you you're a tennis guy. I was smoking people in tennis. Yeah. How how's it how's it work, Carson? How does tennis work? No, how you get do the ball you work? Net. How do you work? Oh. No, no. I'm I, you guys. Nobody would believe. They don't believe what's coming out of my mouth right now. Yeah. How does it work that you're as big as you are now? Well, it wasn't but, always that big. But you're so quick. But like you're totally quick. I feel like because I feel like I'm always. I feel like I just remain the slender version of myself in certain aspects. <laughs> like as mentally, heavy as I was, I still was mentally. Still, yeah, I guess probably <laughs> mentally a little bit physically as well. But. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Portaway Podcast. Uh, Showtime, Sean P in the studio today with Carson A. Merck. Yep, sitting in Ant Two T seat. An honor. Oh. He working. I see yo. How you feel about calling in while you're at work? <laughs> no, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, yeah. I didn't fire him yet. Uh, so. Um, but Carson is is here to help me hold it down today. We have a special guest coming on to the show, undisputed. Would you would you call it junior lightweight? Yeah, junior lightweight. Junior lightweight great. champion, Alicia the Bomb, Bomb Gardner. She's gonna come hang out with us for a second, and um, admit she was about coming into the studio and hanging okay. out with us. So. Uh, I told her we pick a, f- a week where there's a big fight coming on. Yeah, and some paintball, out here, perhaps. I, you know how we do. So. Um, until then, let's talk about my hat. Let's talk about this. I wish we didn't. Come on now. Let's talk about the whole getup. Why wouldn't we? We're listening to the Bone Thugs on the way. Ghetto, ghetto Cowboy. <laughs> Somebody else hit Classic me. Classic song. Already. That's that, annoying. The song? No, like that. I'm So I went to my wife's uh, cousin, uh, Feliz Copiano's to her cousin, uh, 40th birthday down in Guadalajara. And um, the theme of the party was Cowboy. And so, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I want to be a black cowboy. Hey, you yeah, know? Why not? But the everything is ghetto cowboy. Like, oh. no, slow down. I was down. just thinking I'm of it because we were listening to Bone Thugs. I know, but I'm just together. saying. Like, yeah. That's that's one of the, I'm not a, this may come as a surprise to Noah, I'm not a country music fan. But anytime there's ever an argument, like, you know, like any country music song, I'm like, oh, ghetto cowboy. For Usually real? I'll bring up, <laughs> I'll bring up Deliverance by Bubba Sparks, which I feel like is some, <laughs> somewhere in that category, but. Uh, yeah, not a big country guy. But yeah, how was it down? How was the party? Man, it was smooth, man. The party was fun. Um, got a little clip for y'all. Uh, but o- overall, man, I just I'm happy to get my wife down there. She had been down there since she was eight years old, and uh, my boys two and 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 five. And I was stressing to Diggy because he's whining. I said, Diggy, like you're you're in Mexico. Yeah. Kids, like I didn't travel when I was. I couldn't travel until USA Boxing started paying for me to travel. You yeah, know? I didn't tell them all that, but I just let them know. Like, should have. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I was letting them know, like, you gotta enjoy being here, and yeah. because you didn't get to do this today, don't be too upset. But I mean, overall, it was a great trip. You saw we went to the zoo yesterday. Yeah. We were able to get that in before we got on the plane to get out of there. But I mean, favorite, was, anim- favorite animal at the zoo? Not just that one. Typically, what's like your go-to uh, at, at a zoo? Go-to at the zoo? I, you know, I didn't see the zebras at the zoo. And I, You're I, typically I, a zebra fan. I like zebras. Okay. You know, they're kind of like out of the norm for me. You know, I'm a I'm a either a sea lion or a seal kind of guy. I, I know, especially I know. at Cle- the Cleveland Zoo. Growing up, you could feed them. They yeah. had you could buy fish and throw the fish in to oh, the to the. That's seal. why you're so enamored with them. It was a good time. Okay. They didn't let they didn't let not one of those fish <laughs> get past them. And kind of similar to what we were mentioning earlier, they're huskier animals, but very agile. <laughs> very true. Precise very true. precision swimmers. Um. On. Okay, okay. Cool. We have our 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 guest, not our first guest, but we have our guest. Um. She's been talking about coming into the show for a minute. Too, yeah. Right? Absolutely. That's what's up. That's Even what's before up. my retirement. Yeah. That was the conversation. <laughs> uh. What is this? If the, if that's retirement, what is this? It's a cameo. It's a it's an exhibition. It's ex- <laughs> <laughs> Cars is here for the exhibition, and we got Alicia Baumgartner coming to the Portaway podcast. Um. This is a fight for her, I suppose. Or is this an exhibition? 
This is this is easy work for her. Easy work podcast, for her. Podcast, easy work. Uh, welcome to the Point Away podcast, Alicia, the bomb, bomb gardener. There she is. Hey. What's up? Undisputed. <laughs> Undisputed. How you feeling? I feel blessed. But first and foremost, uh -oh. Sean, I'm going to need you to say my name properly. Alicia. Excuse me, Alicia. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. Alicia Baumgart. Come on now. You don't you can't come on here correcting the host. That's what I, I love. listen. I gotta correct everybody who say my name wrong because they've been saying Alicia for a hot minute now. Yeah. Alicia Baumgartner, how do you feel being undisputed? Uh, I feel blessed. I feel accomplished. I feel just excited that this is just one step in my career that I've been able to check off. So now it's like, what's next for me? I, I'm glad that you said that. I want to go fighter to fighter real quick because we all have different goals. We have different dreams. Everything's depending on who you are, where you come from, what you what you watched. It's what you want to be. Was when did Undisputed become a goal of yours? Um, when I first turned pro, I told myself I want to be Undisputed and I want to be pound for pound. And not knowing the magnitude of what right. that meant. Yeah. But with going through the journey and, and fighting who I had to fight, I'm like, this is this is a process and it doesn't come easy, but it's so very rewarding. Yeah. So here we are. And then let's fast forward real quick to fight night. Then I'm going to let J Carson jump in. Again, everybody has different feelings, different emotions, different thoughts before they get into the ring, the ring walk, the list goes on. Like, what was what were your thoughts? What were your feelings approaching fight night? You know, it was a great fight week. Let's just say that it was a great week of media. It was a great build up. Again, we've been, I've been talking about becoming undisputed for a very long time. And because I enjoyed this camp, I enjoyed fight week. Fight night was just a thing that I was just ready for. I just couldn't wait for it. I'm like, I'm ready to fight. I've been training for a long time. I'm ready to hit somebody. I'm ready to get out there. I'm ready to claim this title. And, um, you know, just really showcase who I am as a fighter. I, w I was excited because I obviously love watching you fight, but that was actually the first time my wife got to watch you fight. We were at the house watching it, mm -hmm. and she was impressed, of course, lived up to the standards I had set. <laughs> and she was especially impressed with what you announced after the fight that you had to overcome on the fight day. So tell us, as Sean right. and I clearly don't know what that feels like, <laughs> how did that factor into uh, to a fighting in an undisputed fight? Man, it was a huge factor. So, like, mentally, I don't let that bother me. But what, my what, body is responding. The, hold on. Huh? Rewind, because rewind, I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. So. Well, go ahead and tell. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I am I just started my period today. Oh, so that should tell me, you I that women can it. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it just showed that women can do anything. And, um, again, it, it, it didn't bother me mentally, but my body will respond to it differently. And so I kind of felt oh, that wow. in the fight, but, um, I pushed through, I'm like, this is a time where we, we got to push through a B like cancel all the extraness out the head and just get, get the assignment done. So that's what we did. But it just showed that women are strong. Women are able to do it all. Um, even through adversity and the time of the month. So you talk to yourself in the third person like that. Yep. Why? Fair enough. You said why? Why? You you have to talk with self. You have to have these daily conversations with yourself. Yeah, but I talk to myself. He calls himself don't... Showtime. Don't, no. don't, let him, don't let him fool you. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I just talk to myself. Okay. But you talk to yourself in the third person, I mean, eh? I mean, I guess I just talk to myself <laughs> however it comes out. Comes yeah. out. <laughs> what, what did you think as far as... Obviously, like you said, overcoming that. How, what did you, I guess, grade your fight performance at? Yeah, I would. I gave it an eight out of ten for myself. Um, I would say my trainer agreed. Um, a few others agreed, but an eight out of ten, I, I gave myself for that fight. And I, I actually wanted while while you mentioned your trainer, I kind of want to just touch on that briefly because I know we're both big fans, of Tony Harrison. Sure. What do you think? How, I guess, how has it been working with Tony? And how do you think I project him as somebody who can legitimately have a huge second career as a trainer, boxing IQ, and guy can talk talk some shit as well? How, how do you think he fares as a trainer? 
Um, I would say the it works perfectly for me. Again, we're both fighters. We both have a fighter's eye. I mean, I know that he sees it from a trainer's lens, but again, once a fighter, you you know the ins and outs. You see something that I might not be able to see, so he's able to pick up on that. And there's just comfortability there when you when someone knows a sport like anybody else as a fighter, it just makes things easier and it, and it flows in the corner, I believe. And so. It's been able to work for me, and as long as it works for me in the corner, I'm able to um, listen to instructions and apply that. That's all that that is important in there. Alicia, I was wondering, is he is he the chief in the corner? He is. Yes. He is the chief, huh? Okay. And mm -hmm. then and then so the the coaches that you had before are they still there with you, or is it? It was it, it was Tony's Tony's late father was your trainer before, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it just moved on. And then it just moved on to Tony now, huh? Mm -hmm. So what happens when Tony fights in Australia? Are you going to coach him? Um, you know, I will be there and I would be, you know, doing my best to give him my wisdom and knowledge. But again, he has his trainer for that as well. But, yeah. you know, he, you know, you, you know, as fighters, we have an ear yeah. for um, certain, sure. certain people. So I'm yeah. sure he would hear my voice yeah, if yeah. I tell him he needs to double up on that jab or something. You two may be the best tandem of trash talkers in boxing <laughs> on the women's side and the men's side. You, I mean, you're top either way, men's or women's. But <laughs> as a tandem, that, that's elite. And, and speaking of trash talk, obviously Michaela Mayer comes up. Some trash talk tends to happen. <laughs> um, what do you think? I know right. she's been saying, talking about the rematch and the money. What it, Just right now from you directly, what gets you in the ring with Michaela Mayer again? Flowers. The so obviously the money has to be right you know we know that that's important we know that the, how the first fight went it's important to really capitalize again on the second moment make this a main event in the states make sure that things are aligned the way they're supposed to be that's all i'm worried about um again michaela's trying to be relevant she's hurting right now she's in the dumps she's trying to get anything she can get her hands on obviously a rematch is one of those things for her so, um, you know, I have a great team working out, working with me. Mashroom is waiting for an offer from top rank. So, again, it comes down to the business side. We know this. And with boxing business, you have to have patience with that. So it don't work on your time. We know that. So, I mean, again, I tell everybody when that rematch happens, it will happen. But things have to make sense. But it just we're, I'm at the pinnacle now. I'm at the top. I'm in the driver's seat. Um, I'm able to call the shots and, and maneuver the way I want those things to maneuver. Alicia, how do you feel about fighting abroad opposed to fighting here at home? I think being in England, that, that, that undercard of, uh, who was that? Clarissa, um, Clarissa and, Savannah. and Savannah. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a big card and fights sell in England in ways that they don't sell over here in the U S does that bother you at all? Or is it like, Hey, I want to fight at home. I want to, I want to be around my people when I, when I, when I perform. Um, you know, it doesn't bother me. I, you know, I, I love to go where I'm respected. Yeah. And, you know, UK res respects boxing, period, regardless of gender. And knowing that I can build my profile there, people want to see me in the States. So I believe I'm a a fighter where people want to come out. I can put people in seats. Mm. I can I can become a pay-per-view fighter just because of who I am, the, the, just the entertainment behind it. And so... Either way would be better, but I love fighting in the States because this is where I'm from. You know, people want to come out. We had a great turnout in New York, mm -hmm. and that just shows that, you know, anywhere you put me, people are going to come. Miss Undisputed, what do you do next? What's next is I want to move up to 35, become mm -hmm. Undisputed at 35, fight mm -hmm. the winner between Katie and Amanda, wow. or go up to 140, and challenge Chantel Cameron and become undisputed. Wow. We it's it's a time to shine and it's a time to take a challenge. Mm -hmm. I love to fight. I'm a competitor. I believe that I'm the best. I believe in my skill and my abilities and and everything that I possess. And I'm only getting better. I'm stepping into my prime, mm -hmm. and I can only be better. Like this is what people have to understand. Like you only you're only seeing glimpses of greatness. Yeah. when I fight and there's so much more to pull out. There's so much more for me to fix so many things to adjust. And I'm, and I'm a learner. I'm a, I want to learn 
I'm a sponge. I want to soak up all the knowledge. So I believe I'm able and capable of doing just that. That that was something that before the fight with Michaela and we mentioned when I was on that I don't know why there was an expectation that you could only beat her by knockout, that you were only a power puncher when we literally saw the fight before where you just completely styled on and dominated Batiste. It just like didn't make any sense to me. What do you think? You mentioned things to improve on. The takeaway I think a lot of people had, there were certain rounds where the gas tank maybe was a little bit a little bit off maybe on on Saturday. Is that one of the things conditioning wise to improve on? What do you think are like the main things you want to work on going forward? Yeah, I would say conditioning is always one of those things where you can improve, um, especially when you're dealing with um, the type of fight, you know, if, if it's a boxing style fight, I could, if I wanted to, I could have just sat back and, and box, but I like to engage as well. And I think when you're engaged, you have to have the, the conditioning to do so. And I just feel like, you know, it, it's just the smallest things to improve. Yeah. So if that's, if that's, you know, doubling up on the jab more, if that's going to the body more, um, it's just the smallest things that I know that I need to, to improve on, but th- I'm right there. Yeah, I'm right there. I'm very close. Anything else? No, that's it. We I'm, we hit the mark. We yeah. we right around that 16 minute mark Heart. right there for you. I was being generous. Damn, already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being generous. We're gonna let you go on this one and get out here soon. But we want you to come out here soon so you can come back on the show in studio with us. Thank you. Sounds good to me. Thank Con- you for having me. Congratulations. Are, are sure. you sleeping with the belts, or you got them hanging up? What you gonna do with the belts? Man, we I'm getting a trophy case made right now as we speak. That's what's up. And I'm um, putting those babies up. That's what's up. You can put A B on it. <laughs> a B sing everything. Very good. Everything. Congratulations, Undisputed. Thank you. We'll you guys you enjoy later. your day. You too. See ya. There you go. She said she wanna move up. Yeah. She said she said winner of Katie and and, and Amanda. So I believe, and somebody can certainly correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. I believe every single division from 126 to 168 is undisputed in women's boxing. I what? think. Because you have Serrano, which we'll get to, Alicia, uh, Katie Taylor, yeah, Chantel Cameron, Jessica McCaskill, Clarissa. Is Clarissa 54? Clarissa is 60. Somebody's at 54. Maybe hey, if he who's doing nothing could look that up. <laughs> Sixty is um, Clarissa. Sixty-eight is Franchon. Uh huh. So it's Franchon yeah. is undisputed. Yeah. She ain't tell me she was undisputed. Yeah. I didn't know she was undisputed. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, it's great, and and it's one of those things where, from a like a casual boxing fan perspective, where somebody's always in boxing, they're like, "Hey, who's the best fighter here?" And in, in men's boxing, we're like. Oh well, it's well. This guy has this belt, and this guy has this one. He's the mandatory. Mm-hmm. Right now, women's boxing, it's easy. You can just like, yeah, they've established themselves as the best. Yeah. yeah. So, like at 154, we've got Natasha. Natasha Jones Jonas with three belts. Terry Harper with the WBA. Okay, and I think Terry Harper's is is maybe an interim, possibly. Okay. I think I saw that. But wow. we want to go back to to the zone and kind of run through that card. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Let's critique her now that she's not. <laughs> I, I mean, I mention the gas tank but uh <laughs> as far as like the under undercard i know um ram lali really good prospect she fought um sky nicholson had a really like aggressive and unorthodox opponent so she didn't look great but she won so mm-hmm. kudos mm-hmm. there sky is like a, she's a really good boxer yeah not a hard puncher she's sharp yeah and and you're right the, the girl was just like aggressive kind of running at her and was off balance yeah and, and you know so it made for a, it made for a tough showing early on uh for sky she'll she'll see women like that yeah. that are just gonna give her like a little bit of a headache you know yeah. and not not allow her to shine and, and show as good yeah. as she sure to be as good as she is and then going into the main card guy I said last week i was a big fan of richardson hitchens Hitchinson. he is so damn good man Hitchinson. Not, and they did it a couple of times in the broadcast too. And I kept, I kept looking at Amy. I was like, "Good, good, good fighter, man." Come on, he is so good. Yeah, he. The, I think he's New York, right? He's New York. Yeah, I believe he's a Brooklyn guy. Yeah. Um, the thing that I noticed the most about him, or maybe the one trait that stands out above, he has a lot of skills in the ring, mm-hmm. is you can't speed him up. He's gonna be at his tempo either way. Yeah. So no matter if Bowser was was pressing, if he was throwing big shots, if he was trying to get him to to let his hands go a little bit more, and his then, name Bowser. John Bowser, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
And so he just he just stays where he wants it. If mm-hmm. he wants to throw more, throws more. If he wants to just sit there and, and carve you up from the outside, he does that too. Yeah. Um, who who else is like that? Somebody's just got one temple. Who's like Shakur is like that a little bit. Shakur is like that. And yeah. The, and they happen yeah. to be very good friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And course. he was actually back in. I think he was actually warming them up on the pads. Okay. The fight. Okay. But, um, yeah. It, he's just like, you just can't speed him up. He's really skilled, obviously in the ring. Yeah. Um, in the commentary, they kept saying, "Yeah, just just let like a flurry go, and and you can knock him out. You can get the refs to stop him." And I was like, "Yeah, but." Then you're putting yourself at risk for what? That's just always me. I'm, as you know. You are a punk. I don't care. If, like, who cares? You are a punk. If you can win one through twelve or one through ten, I think it was. Who cares? TV's basically saying, give us a reason to watch you, to want to watch you. Yeah, but he man. dominated him. He, like, you, you do look, I care you're, if you like get to stop him? But go to that next level. Yeah. Is basically what what boxing was saying. And I, what do you think of of Hitchens? In he's general? he's he's super sharp. Yeah. That guy like was. He dominated like yeah. a st- I, did, I, I think the the day did he did he ran unanimous like yeah. every single round I think so yeah or did they no I think he won every round yeah and and had knockdowns yeah and, and he had knockdowns I, I mean just just sharp yeah um you're right he fights at a at a very sp- specific pace um what does it take to get him off of that pace because this kid was not able to do it and he's basically has the style he was that, trying yeah, yeah. yeah basically has the style that would get Hitchison yeah uh, Hitchens. See? Off of <laughs> Hitchens Richardson, yeah. off of off of that pace, but I mean he's just and I know the commentary says it's very calm yeah. and very 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 poised in that style that he boxes with, and it's just a straight up boxing style. It's not I'm gonna move everywhere, and it's not I'm gonna sit here and counter punch you. It's just straight up boxing. Yeah, like he's he's leading with the jab. He's countering with one two right and, hand. Whew. Yeah, I mean like just across the board. I mean. um I don't think he. Yeah, I mean, what 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 could you do better? What what could you do different? Like, you know, go for the stoppage, I guess. You, but you go for the stoppage, but then you know what I mean. Now you gotta kind of do things that you probably haven't been training to do. Yeah. You know, so I mean, m- maybe if anything, you know, first and foremost is work on that stuff in in the gym because yeah. it's not gonna translate so you have it. on fight night. Yeah, work on changing that tempo because. On fight night, yes, uh, people want to be electrified. They want they want to le- le- go home with with something to remember. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, when you're dominating, um, and but there's nothing like kind of for the sake of words, electrifying behind it. Then it just kind of gives people that yeah, he's good. Yeah, yeah, but he's he's actually more than good. Yeah, but we didn't really see. And, and he kind of reminds me in that sense of like Boots always says. If you get me in there with somebody that's better, I'm gonna look better. Mm-hmm. So I think if you get somebody in there that's even better with yeah. with Hitchens, yeah. Um, I was actually pretty, I was pretty annoyed with his with Bowser's corner and the ref. I the thought bre- it could have been stopped like I was annoyed with the ref. rounds before the end of the fight. Yeah, and that's not. And I, I saw a lot of the commentary was mentioning, and there's a lot of people on on Twitter mentioning like, yeah, Bowser, but he's got like he's got heart. I don't, I never doubted John Bowser's heart. Before the fight, during the fight, or after the fight. Uh, uh, That's not the, – nobody's saying if you stop the fight, it's a heart issue. Right. It's – he's not going to win. Right. He's just – there was a – I don't know what round it was. He got hit with, like, five clean punches in the middle of the ring. Yeah. And I'm like, what are we doing? What's yeah. the point? There has to be a protocol kind of, yeah. like, put in place for refs to kind of be able to, like, analyze that. Yeah. And I've said this before. Like, you need – you need an official that can assist the ref yeah. in between rounds. And so if you got an official that and everybody around the, the, the ring understands that this kid's not winning this fight, we're at round six. Now let's start counting down. Yeah. Opposed to just allowing this fight to finish because this guy can finish and because this guy can stand on two two legs, yeah. you know? Um it just There was no point. There, there was and it's no not point. a disrespect to Bowser. It just wasn't going to change. And you're right. And it's a super. It's 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 super hard to make that call because the guy was getting. I mean, he's getting out clash. He's not getting, but he's not getting beat down. Yeah. And I yeah. think that at the end of the day, like that's what the commentary might have been even saying is saying, you know, hey, if you put a combination together and you don't, you you look like you're not going to be, re, you're yeah. going to be relentless. And it, and then, I guess I don't. Th- it shouldn't. It shouldn't need to be that. Like, that shouldn't be what needs to happen. Uh-huh. Like, it should just be something where they just use their eyes and say, okay, this guy is, like, But again, clearly. like, to, to my point, it's hard for a ref 
to make that judgment call because this kid can stand on two feet. Yeah. This kid has his hands up. Yeah, he's taking a lot of clean shots, but he does not look like he wants to quit. Yeah. Does not look like he wants to stop. Yeah. And so I guess for the sake of words, I guess maybe historically, if if I don't want to quit, you can't stop it. <laughs> you yeah. know. That, I don't know. You, you just weird. have to be there. Like when the fighter doesn't want to accept that which obviously as a fighter you're not going to i don't yeah. expect him to yeah, yeah yeah you have to be there for the fighter to be the the level head in the room and say hey yeah whether you're the referee or the corner you say hey, yeah wasn't our night yeah you're he's a young guy he was undefeated before that yeah fight another day yeah let it go but i didn't see and uh, and one more thing to yeah. to, to uh Bowser's, um defense i didn't see anything that like that looked it, nothing that was a al- lot alarming for I'm the not a doctor words. though yeah, yeah. And you're not a doctor that because i'm thinking the same no, thing yeah like looking back i'm like no there wasn't anything that stood out but it's yeah. like i'm not a doctor i don't know what i'm looking yeah. for that's yeah. why they have doctors in the corner that's why they have the nfl has concussion experts that's what they're there yeah. for yeah because i don't know yeah. what bad concussions i don't know what a well, concussion I, looked like i mean like the stumbling i yeah, didn't yeah. really see stumbling you know yeah. i didn't see moments where he was like light on his feet and it worried me, you know. Yeah. And you know me, like I'm, I'm one of the first to be like, all right, yeah, stop, stop. I'm the first. I didn't really. I'm the first. You might be following <laughs> yeah, right. after me. Yeah. But I didn't really. There wasn't anything alarming. It's just yeah. the fact that yeah, you've been dominated round after round. Yeah. And maybe that's something that needs to change about boxing. Yeah. Where if one guy is completely outmatched and outclassed and being dominated round after round, maybe if this is a ten round fight, upwards to seven rounds, we're looking at stopping it. Yeah. For his sake. Yeah, and 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 maybe make a, an announcement. That, hey, this is the new protocol. Yeah, don't expect these fights to go ten rounds just because this guy, like just I just said, can stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. And then, yeah, I, I don't know what will be next for Richardson Hitchens. But I don't know either, but that dude is good. <laughs> yeah, oh, he is. He's super good. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what is next for him. I think he's a problem for anybody at 140. I, I kind of feel like he's like the quiet storm from New York. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I know I knew he was from New York. Yeah, but I feel like there's other guys that like. And he seems to be eager to get that chance of yeah. like being the guy yeah. and, and getting that shine, which yeah. he, I think he deserves. But yeah. uh, we'll see what's next. And then we had her, we had her on before. Alicia Baumgartner becomes right. undisputed at 130. I right. uh, thought it was a good fight. I, I mentioned it. I think there were just some rounds that it was they mentioned on the commentary. It was like, okay, like yeah. took this round off yeah. to get your steam back. Yeah. But, um, yeah, she's a great boxer, good power punching. Good power, dom- too. Was that the second round she knocked? Second or third, maybe? Yeah. And I thought I thought McCallard was probably better than I anticipated. That girl's good. Yeah. I've seen her box before. She's good. Yeah, she's good. She's good, but she just could not get with Alicia. Yeah, there's there's good and there's the yeah, undisputed like champion levels. of the division. Yeah. So yeah, I thought it was good. I didn't have like a grand takeaway, I guess. I just thought it was a great performance. Yeah, I wanna see I wanna see the, something I think Ant is always asking for is like I wanna see name versus name. You yeah. know, I think I think that's kinda like what's Next for Alicia, yeah. you know, obviously she she just had Michaela, yeah, and then Could now have she's her again potentially, sure. But if she goes up to thirty five, you have Taylor Serrano are both there, yeah, doable fights. Why 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 wouldn't you fight uh, Michaela again? Michaela again, spite? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, because you don't want to. You yeah. want to give her the satisfaction of fighting you again. Yeah, I I don't know. I think I think they will. Michaela has been adamant and has been like Alicia said making sure she stayed relevant after the fight, that mm-hmm. they, even though she lost, um, just making sure to mention the rematch as much as possible. Any, you know, She was obviously at the fight. She didn't have to be there, but she was there, which yeah. is good for yeah. publicity, yeah. especially with the fight. But yeah. um, that seems to be the biggest money fight for her. I don't see why it wouldn't I, be. That's the other thing that Alicia and her team has to consider yeah. is, you know, hey, if we're, I don't I don't know what, what, the, what the money is like for yeah. women's boxing, but... I think that you're literally counting pennies opposed to counting dollars when yeah. when when you consider fighting somebody that's not Michaela. Yeah, she just you know? it just it just makes I think the most sense. Yeah, like, and the most sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, we'll see what happens next. But I, I would like to I would like to see it. I thought she won the first fight. I think she wins the second one. I thought but. she won the first one. I I didn't even want to ask her if how she felt about it. You, you, you what if she had just plot twists? I was like, I don't know. Maybe I was the second one. There was no They'll be the first boxer coming. of all time. Just like, yeah. I don't know. Man. There's don't no have plot twists coming there. But, but yeah. I, I, think the, I think the second fight sells better. Be, yeah. I think the you fight know, could be better. But And it's better. Yeah. Yo, go get that one. And then. We need that one again. Yeah. And then main event, Amanda Serrano 
Erica Cruz. Can't say that's crazy. That was that was a that was I don't even know how to describe it. It was it was all <laughs> action. There was she gets cut from a headbutt and I said it last I week. I was like, oh my gosh, there was blood everywhere. <laughs> I said it last week. I thought I I'll say first, I thought it was closer than the scorecards indicated. Uh huh, I did too. Um what you had? I had seven three. I thought may I thought maybe six four. I was probably in the ballpark there. Six seven, four. Three, seven, three, seven three, six four, yeah. somewhere around there. Um, but no, that was a it was a great fight. I I don't think it was Amanda's best fight, and I think she would probably agree with that. I don't I just don't think she like I think we've seen her look better than that. Yeah. But I also think a huge part of that equation is Erica Cruz. Yeah. Who is tough as hell. Yeah. I thought she there were a couple of times I'm like, she's losing a lot of blood. Like she yeah. was <laughs> like she kinda was a little like light on her feet a couple of times. Uh-huh. Not even after a shot. I was You're like, not a doctor. Okay. Again, <laughs> but they, even I could see that one. But that was uh, that was a great, it was a great fight. What'd you think? Action packed. Yeah. Um, Start to finish. Yeah, I, I don't know. Let me ask you this: Are we expecting too much from Amanda Serrano at this point? I do hold her in very high esteem, so yeah, probably, you know what I'm yeah, yeah, probably. Which, not the bad defense, thing, I guess. It, you know, Car- yeah, it was like, yo, this defense is just frustrating. Yeah, it's like, what defense? Yeah, I hate to say it yeah, yeah, yeah. because of everything that she is and has been to boxing, yeah. but I think that that might be like the thing that she w- was overlooked and missed by her, yeah. and and now we're seeing it. Yeah. Where where before she was just so much sharper and so skilled. And they were rocking. And they were rocking. The whole fight. And the thing is, uh, Cruz has no defense. Like Yeah, neither of them. It was, uh, they were just like, Hey, this is all offense. Let's let's make it happen. And again, like maybe because she was just on such a high level, yeah. Amanda, that it was overlooked. But definitely her last three fights. Yeah, this now probably the fourth fight that we've seen that we're like, yeah, where's that offense and that defense? I think you know? the commentary was maybe a little unfair to Cruz. They didn't seem to give her as much credit as I was giving her. Yeah, but obviously that's how it goes. High, that's how it goes. Yeah, um, yeah. I thought I thought it was a great fight. I was I certainly came away impressed. Um, with Erica Cruz, with Cruz or, and with, but with both of them, yeah, yeah, with both of them. But Cruz probably, probably impressed me more, uh-huh. just because I hold Amanda in such a high regard. Like, uh-huh. can't really impress me after you're, you're <laughs> as high as high as I hold her. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good fight. Afterwards, get yeah. the news: Serrano and Taylor gonna gonna mix it up again. Right, right, right. I like that fight again. They're gonna make it happen in Ireland. I think rematches like. make sense in general. Yeah, I think some rematches just make all the sense in the world. You know. Yeah. Um, let's rewind just a little bit to yeah, Tony yeah. Harrison, and we talked last week about him getting in the ring with uh, with Tim Zhu, mm-hmm. and if he were to win with Tim Zhu, we get a third fight Charlo. with him and Charlo. I mean, we got Love a trilogy it. here. Still one one. I I, per- <laughs> I personally feel like this the second fight basically answers the questions that we may even we may have for the third fight, but with some fights and with some fighters, a rematch or a trilogy fight makes sense i yeah. think for those two guys the rematch makes sense the, yeah. the trilogy makes sense yeah it would, it would be a great i think it's gonna be a good matchup i that was one so i, I actually think not to compare the two fights but with mayor and Baumgartner, i heard less people think that fight went to one or the other i think a lot of people the majority thought it was alicia that oh, won okay. that uh-huh. taylor serrano i heard a lot it was split it yeah. was like no, she won. No, she yeah. won. It was very split. So yeah. I think rematching that one. I don't makes remember even more how split. I scored that. Do you I remember? had Taylor narrowly. Yeah. I think you had Serrano. I I'm think I had positive. Serrano like by a round. That, it was, that was. It was literally either a draw. Razor thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. her. It was Taylor by a round. Serrano by a round or a yeah. draw. Like yeah. that one was. It was unbelievably close. I give another heart. A heart. Another heart. One for judges. Judges are 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 um, trained to basically each round is a new fight. Yeah. And so you're not supposed to take what happened in round two into round three. Yeah. And I think with that fight is is super hard for sure. To not do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We and we we mentioned that before where it's tough to there's such a lopsided round, you one hundred percent are like, okay, well that round was lopsided, so they have they have a boost going into this one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's tough that way. Yeah. I think Taylor would win a rematch. Just to, I guess, put that on the record. I don't know mm. when I'll return to the podcast. I don't know, I don't know when that fight's happening. To be fair. I think May. I think I think May twentieth. Okay, that's what's happening in Ireland. Okay. Um, but I I I, think I favor Taylor. Uh-huh. I lean that way. Uh-huh. But um, great fight. She's got she she can box from the outside. She moves her feet and she has 
a component of defense. Her voice there. surprises me ten <laughs> times out of ten. Got deep for you? No, it's it's kind of like it's she talks fast, uh-huh. and it's it's I don't know, it's kind of like it kind of breaks a little bit. Uh-huh. I don't know why it just surprised. I've heard her talk thousands of times, and every time I'm like, uh, know. yeah. She just kind of is like it's really it's like soft spoken and it's quick. Yeah, I don't know, it just kind of surprised me. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, just felt like mentioning that. Um. And then we want to go back to uh, the ESPN. It was on Friday night. Never had beef. Yeah. Uh, undercard, Richard Torres won. Yeah. That boy, man. I'm not sure about the the opponent was made, <laughs> underwhelmed me a little bit. But, um, yeah, Richard Torres, I, I don't think it's possible. And I, and I don't want to impose limits on what he can become in this sport because I, sure. I think he's a great fighter. Sure. I think he's a charismatic as hell dude. Sure. But I just wish he could somehow get to like cruiserweight, uh-huh. just because I think heavyweight's gonna be tough. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And again, I'm a big Richard Torres fan, uh-huh. but I heavyweight's tough. He's it's, he's just not a big guy, and I know there's not. other guys that have done it, and I don't know. And I, his body looks so good, like he's he's healthy, yeah, he's fit, he's determined, he's he's he's, um, he's explosive. Yeah, he's committed. Yeah. I mean, the whole nine. Um, I just think it's tough. What I what I would like to see as I was watching, just it was just one round, and what, yeah. and what I was watching, that uppercut was just Oof. beautiful. By yeah, the way. that that uppercut was just beautiful. He's very skilled, very skilled. Damn, look yeah. at that. Yeah, he pick pick dude up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he picked really dude up. So with that being said, you're saying like, yeah, we want you to find, you know, get to that cruiserweight because you can live and thrive there. Yeah. But you can see he's got power. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think it's fake power. No, no, no. I don't think so. And he's not a man yet. Like he's yeah. he's still, still he's a young a, dude. He's a young man. Yeah. You know, he's not a he's not a full blown man. Yeah. He he's not gonna get any taller. I think that that's gonna be a problem for him. Hey, that dude hits a growth spurt. He's uh, he's in business. Man, come on. <laughs> that dude hits a growth spurt. Fundora, if you're listening, give him <laughs> some height. <laughs> uh, uh, Torres, if you're listening, the the the, the growth spurt ain't gonna come. All right, I'm rooting for you. I buddy. waited till I was about 26, and I was like, all right, yeah, let's just let it. it go. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, let's just let it go. But you're right. Like, if he, I think that the height is kind of the only thing working against him. Yeah, I think that he has a style that he can perfect. And it will offset the reach that a lot of the heavyweights have. Yeah. It will also offset his size. Will also offset, and style will help offset this the Levels. size that they have. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and I'm not gonna really go into the ins and outs of that. It's something that I dealt with as a as a young kid, and my entire boxing career yeah. was built around beating taller guys, whatever the case may be. But, um. I get worried every time a punch comes at that kid. Yeah. Because because the the amateur where he I, got knocked out. No, not no, not because I, of I that. still I think about that. And he's fighting a grown man at that point. I'm like, not come because on. of that. And I and I and I hate to kind of like I'm gonna just say it. Like I like to see him with a Mike Tyson type of perpetual motion of, yeah. of head movement that is um uh what's the word I'm looking for? That is um iron. <laughs> that it that will that will help him uh beneficial that yeah i don't i don't know the word i'm looking for but sounds like two <laughs> words <laughs> but i think that um damn I, I want that word and i don't have it while you're but thinking anyway, of it, he's back next month by the way is he yeah Good for him coming back on right the back. Uh, undercard of Young ramirez too. comey yeah next month uh maybe the middle of march why not yeah. This was the first round. Yeah, he hardly got touched, if at all. Came in, came Why out. Why wouldn't you come right back? Yeah, you, Which you're is great. supposed to come right yeah. back. Yeah, got the drive to do it. So kudos is this to them. Technically, his second. This is technically his second year. Second year. Oh, yeah. This would technically be his second year because 2022 was his first year. Yeah. So I he's so. coming to his second year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, moving into I think the only other one notably the Comain, uh, Barboza and Pedraza. But wait. But just real quick, uh, yeah. for 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 Torres, in order for you're him, you're just gonna to, blurt that word out that you're trying to think of at some point. By at the some way. point, yeah, I, I probably it'll probably come up at some other point. But um, damn it, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, I want that word. Um, he, uh, I think going back to that Mike Tyson type yeah. of style. It's listen, 
it's not about him fighting like Mike. Yeah. It's not about him getting big yeah, yeah. and bulky and knocking guys out. Right. It's about him having a type of style that, that will keep him safe. Yeah. The perpetual mo- mo- motion of defense will help him alleviate the shots that he's that, that will be coming at him on his way in. Yeah. He's a shorter guy. He he has decent range or reach, but he's gonna have to go at guys in yeah. order for him to be effective. And he mentioned he's a Sean Porter so, fan when we had him on before the Olympics. So yeah, that yeah. makes sense as well. Yeah. Um, um, so I, I will I would love to see that. Um, I think they refer to his style as herky jerky. Um, obviously, I love it. Is it's Javier Fortuna. <laughs> it's the That's kind of the herky jerky that, guy I think of immediately. Is it Fortuna? <laughs> Uh, it's the kind of style that I use. This this bounce, the bounce, the in and out motion, yeah. all those, all those different types Might of be things. Fun for you to get in the gym with them. You're right. I like him, man. He's he's yeah. a, he's, a, he's seems a, like a really good kid. He is. Yeah. He really is. Um, yeah, man, I'm a fan. Yeah. Uh, basically, is why I want. Maybe to he just... comes out to Vegas. <laughs> he's out here. Top ranked gyms out here. Come see us. Yeah, come, come check <laughs> in. Um, but yeah, Comain, Pedraza, and Barboza. A lot of spit on my mind. Um, <laughs> Barboza is he's good. He's just, but he's just good for me, which I don't think is a knock. I just don't like, I didn't come away from that fight like, man. Yeah. I got to see Barboza again. Yeah. Like, yeah. beat Pedraza. Pedraza's no slouch. Been in there with all the greats. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I don't know if I, maybe I missed something. No, you didn't because, and in, in the, in there's no knock on, on this guy. I'm not comparing him or anything like that, but you got Richardson Hitchens and then you got, Barboza just below him, yeah. where they're both very consistent at what they do. They're both they're both good, very good. Richardson has Richardson has just kind of he's got like a little bit of that it thing. Yeah, could be, could be because he's from New York. I don't know, but he's got something. Barboza is very consistent at what he does, but it's just not. It also doesn't in his, wow. He's also you. in his thirties, and it doesn't wow you though. Yeah, like it's not. He's not overwhelming with power. You know what I mean? What's that? One forty? Yeah, he's at one forty. Yeah, where he's just like he. He's fighting guys that I think make sense for like what I see, like the eye test that makes sense. Like Pedraza makes sense as yeah. a fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then it's like, yeah, but if he was in his mid twenties, maybe it's like he's thirty one or thirty two. Uh-huh. So it's like, I don't know, I don't know where the, what the if there's like a huge upside. I don't know if he like all of a sudden becomes somebody where I'm like, oh okay, no. I was missing that. Mm-mm. And he wants to get in with Tiafimo, somebody who's he he's constantly called out. I don't right. think that's a bad fight. Right. I think Barboza's technical enough to give Tiafimo some trouble. Uh-huh. I think I rate Tiafimo higher, and I think Tiafimo would win. Yeah. But I don't know. It's a good fight. Yeah. Uh, you know, just the, the eye test, um, T.O. is much more, is, is, is more athletic. Yeah. Explosive. More explosive. Yeah. You know, those, those, little, those little nuances. Um, but Barboza is just really consistent. That's one thing that we've seen yeah. has given Tiafimo trouble. Tio trouble. Yeah. Guys who are just by the book. I'm here every round. You're not going to scare me away. One punch isn't going to put me down. Yeah. And then what are you going to do when it gets to round seven, round eight? And, the and I, I think that is probably something that he needs a lot of credit for because I don't ever see – I won't say never. I, I don't see, like, unless it's somebody like Regis, I don't see somebody just, like, absolutely blowing the doors off. Of At him. 140? Off, off, yeah, off of Barboza. Like, he's just – he's solid. So I don't see him just getting his absolute – just like his doors. It's an interesting open. fight, though. With him and Regis? With him and Regis. It's an interesting I fight. Just, Regis is the guy. Regis, Regis, Regis has always been, been the dark horse yeah. at 140. But I think it's an interesting fight because I think Regis will force Barboza to do some things that we didn't even see him yeah. do. Yeah, which is against. And Bur- that, I Bedraza. guess, to, to his credit as well, maybe he's just, they're just not pushing it out of yeah. him, some yeah. of these guys. Like, yeah. he's just, he just wins the fight. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see where they where top rank matches him next. Which is funny because you got two things there. You got one where nobody's really kind of like forced it out of him, and then you got number two right there. You got a world champion I'm in yeah. the ring with, and that amps me up a little bit more. You yeah, know? Yeah. So it it will pull out some of the things that we that we haven't seen from Barbosa. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, main event, one of my favorite fighters in the game, Manuel Navarrete. Why? Why? <laughs> you saw why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Were you I, watching this this fight with your wife too? Uh, no, she wasn't watching. That okay, one. I was watching. That Did one you watch this one by yourself? Yeah, just having a ball by yourself. Um, no, it was it was a close fight. I'm not gonna come in. This, I'm, I don't think I have a reputation of just completely turning a blind eye to like bad performances. Like I'm usually pretty honest about it. it wasn't his best performance by any means. No. Um, first fight at 1:30. I don't. I have no clue if that impacted it or not. 
Um, but yeah, he he was hurt multiple times. We're obviously seeing there the uh, the sequence, and then he gets knocked down. So a couple things about this, which ended up being the talk of the fight. The first one is uh, yes, uh, yeah, I didn't like that. Yes, really he either. gave him extended time. Yeah. No question. Like I. I'm, I'm that a, ref was in a hard position too. So, so there's two factors here. Yeah. So the first one, 100% gave him long. Navarrete spits his mouthpiece out. It, it was too long. Yeah. I, I'm not disputing that. Yeah. So for Liam Wilson, who we'll get to, you have to feel hard done by that. No question about yeah. it. But <laughs> on the flip side, if you're if we're gonna do this like revisionist, hey, he he hit him while he was down. He clearly punched Navarrete while he's down. Show it again. Yeah, he's completely down, and he very clearly hits him with a shot while he's down. What, on the back of his head? like no, on the, side, the of side, of side of his head. Side of his head. He's, both, yeah. of his, both of his hands are down. I'm not sure if his knee was down. He's he's clearly. That's what do, we're talking do, about? Do we want to get Roy Jones on? Because what happened to his fight against no, no, Montel no, Griffin? No, no, stop that. He was Roy, down. Roy will tell you the same thing. Hey, I, I, this is boxing. I threw a punch. He was in the way. Got caught with it. I agree. I don't disagree, but. If you're gonna do this, watch. So if you watch, they're showing it. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna do this revisionist history First about. First of all, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, yeah. hold up. So watch. So he's, so he's. Oh, uh, we're not gonna get. That's it. fine. No <laughs> worries. Right, yeah. You guys watch the fight. Hold up. <laughs> Cause his hand touched the canvas, right? Yeah, both of his hands. Both of his hands before yeah. he actually went down. Correct. The ref was and ref was supposed to jump. In. Absolutely. Okay. I don't disagree. Okay. So then, so if you're gonna hold the ref responsible for one thing, hold him responsible for both. So it can't be, oh, he got Wilson got cheated. It was all this. I didn't say that. No, but that's that's the thing. Yeah, and, yeah, and Wilson's yeah. team saying they were, might file an appeal based uh, on the long count. You're which, not gonna win that. Again, it was save long. your money. You're not gonna win it. But, <laughs> but if you're gonna money. if you're gonna do that, it's like on, it's like on an NFL play. <laughs> like if there's if you're reviewing like if there was a, a touchdown that happened and there's very clearly a penalty you miss, the refs are gonna be like, I don't know, I can't really give you the benefit there. <laughs> it it was it was a knockdown. I, the count was long. He also hit him while he was down. Is what it is. Neither thing is going to be rectified. It happened. I, and he, I always say this, and I always end up doing it anyway, but I I just don't like really talking about the officials. Come, I feel like I'm coming at them. I feel like I'm correcting them. Like, yeah. I know everything. But I felt like coming out of the, the gate, like, the ref was all over Wilson. Yeah. And, like, warning him for everything and not allowing the guys to box. At one point, he was like, Wilson, stop holding. They don't even they yeah. weren't holding. Yeah. It was like I, I I was a little annoyed as the fight started, right? And then the fight goes on. The knockdown. So when the hand the ref just had ref, you gotta be in position. Yeah. You didn't know this was gonna happen. Of course. But you gotta be in position to jump in there. Yeah. First of all, you're you're help you're saving one life. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then you're also preventing anything illegal from yeah. happening. Right. Then you're also you're just doing your job. Your job Important. is supposed to know yeah. that I saw hands. Touch the canvas from a punch. Yeah. Let me let me stop this. Right. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about the knockdown from Hitchin in the Hitchens fight. N- not that the first we really one. Need to talk not, about. A not a knockdown. Not a Second one definitely <laughs> yeah. knocked down. Not a knockdown. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It was that wasn't a knockdown, right? No, no, no. The yeah, early yeah. one in the Hitchens fight. Yeah. Definitely yeah, not. Yeah. Definitely not. But then, the, and and I heard Dre say the, the ref got to get this right. He spits his mouthpiece out. Yeah. The ref did said nothing about you, it. You should have been in your spit in the mouthpiece out bag at some point in your career. Uh-huh. Should have done that, man. Oh, Crawford fight. We would have still been, <laughs> still been like, rocking at that yeah, point. Yeah, hey, you know, I ain't even going to lie to you. Did you think about it? We got, so we we started getting the, the uh, molded mouthpieces that are like formed to fit your yeah. teeth. Hey, hey, you got to you gotta yeah, get yeah. them bad boys out. And I remember when we first got them, I was like, uh, <laughs> I can't even spit my mouthpiece yeah, out. Yeah, I was like, uh, you know, uh, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, yeah, I just thought that the ref. Really wasn't spot on. Nevertheless, yeah. Nevertheless, Navarrete comes back and just heavy hands, man. Does his thing. Yeah, made it happen. Um, yeah, when when he turns want, it on, he turns it on. I want it so bad to tweet. I told him how to beat Navarrete. <laughs> I want it so bad. Well, yeah. I, well, you would have saw that tweet. Yeah. Well, let, let, <laughs> let's go this. Let's go this way first, because because of Wilson. I, I want to give him a lot of credit. Yeah, he he was great. Yeah. I, that was I'm not sure if that was like just one of those nights where he was just on on his A game. But it looked like it. He was great. It looked like thought it. his game plan was good. Shout yeah. out to Barry Hunter, of course. Yeah. Um, I I thought it was a great fight, and also, so he was so he's obviously he's Australian. He came to Pet Bangers, and then he had to actually go during camp back to London to 
sort something out with his visa, I think. Mm. So, like, that's in the middle of his camp. I don't know how much that impacts him. But back to London or back to Australia? Back to London, uh-huh. which I don't, I don't understand. Hey, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, I mean, that's, that's a lot to overcome, especially yeah. you're in camp for the biggest fight of your career. Yeah. Um, but, no, I, th- I thought it was a great performance. I, 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 was, know, I came away impressed from Wilson. Yeah. Um, I'm he, wore a lot of, he wore a lot, yeah. like, through the course of the fight, even, uh, you know, before the knockdown. He, he wore a lot of punches. Yeah. It was – I didn't even remember the score before the knockdown, but I think if the knockdown was in the fourth round, what do you think, fourth round? It was fourth, I believe. Uh, if the knockdown was in the fourth round, then I, I think – I think I had Navarrete sweeping up until he was the knockdown. he was winning on every card at the stop. Of yeah, Navarrete. Oh, he was. Yeah, yeah. I think he was winning on every card before the before yeah. that knockdown. Yeah. But outside of the knockdown, I think I may have given Wilson maybe one round or two yeah. two rounds maybe. Yeah, maybe two, maybe two rounds, maybe I just maybe I wasn't familiar with his game beforehand. Yeah. And so the fact that he was in there giving uh-huh. my giving my guy a tough time. Yeah. Um, I think I was I came away pretty impressed by it. Yeah, but. we've we've moved on past this, but I since we have it. Yeah, just just since we have it. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's oh that's not right. Oh, we didn't want to see that. No, I no, did. no, we yeah, didn't want to see that. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> but the, uh, that was it was beautiful. I yeah, can't hate he's him. great. I can't handle. I'll, I'll be interested to see where he ends up going. So now he's a three division champion. Yeah. Um. Now he's at a, a WBC champion at 130 or no WBO at 130. Somebody, somebody, he's got one of those belts, 130. But he, uh, I think WBO. And, and 130, and we'll get to another fight that is definitely WBC at 130. But W 130 is one that I'm not like, I'm not super sure who is the the guy, like the guy at 130. Yeah. There's there's a couple guys that I think are kind of in the mix there. But yeah, Navarrete. I'm surprised to does. say you like. I know this is first fight at 130, but I'm surprised to hear you say like he's just not. He's not. He's the guy. I I cool. I. Sh- I don't think that was his best performance, and I don't know what caused that. Yeah. How much of it was Wilson? How much yeah. of it was Navarrete adjusting to a new weight? How much was it just Navarrete maybe just not being as sharp as he knew, normally is? Yeah. But um, I, 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 I mean, favor him against most fighters. At yeah, I mean, you just, I think if anything, you just have to look at it as, from a fighter's perspective, what, I, what it looked like to me or what I could take from it. It kind of looked as if, Navarrete was supposed to get in the ring with Valdez. Valdez. I like that matchup too. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much time between Valdez and Wilson. Enough. Not en- it wasn't like enough. a last minute. Right. Like, yeah, enough. Yeah. And point being, not the same name, not the same makeup, not yeah. the same style. So it just looks like an easier night. Yeah. And I'm not saying that that Navarrete wasn't prepared. I'm not saying Navarrete didn't do his homework, anything like that. But sometimes you just come in the ring, you like you're 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 a little too confident. Yeah, yeah. You you you're you're you're, you're feel a little bit you're comfortable. Yeah. I'm at 130 now. I'm not killing myself to get to 26. Um yeah. this is not who it was supposed to be. This is an Australian guy. He's fair skinned. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, all these and you just don't really know what's coming at you until it until it comes at you. Yeah. And I think that he definitely was in trouble. Um, I like what I heard from his corner when he came back to the when he when he went back to the corner. He yeah. said, "Hey, calm down. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you know, we're we're good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and the and the and the corner's like, yo, we've never. Are seen you sure you you're here good? Before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've never seen you here before. Yeah. Are you sure you're good? Yeah. You know. But overall, I think that they remain calm and collected. I think I don't really think that the knockdown woke him up. I think that. I think that he just remained himself. Yeah. And himself got the job done in spectacular form. There's a smile on my face every time a lead uppercut fires out there. It is that's my favorite, <laughs> other than the jab. <laughs> that is my favorite punch in boxing. That dude just firing those off. But the one thing I hope they make Valdez next. And remember, I was I was telling you that I talked to Wilson before the fight. The yeah. one I I said, I said this is what I said to him. I said, "How are you a body puncher?" He said, "Oh man, I used to body punch a lot. I don't really do it too much anymore." I said maybe uh, you should be that guy. Again. I I said I said you sh- you need to start figuring out how to you know get back to that. Yeah. I said you're gonna need it for this fight, and I don't mean to sound like I know everything, but yeah. I told him I said you got to do things against Navarrete that he's not used yeah. to having being done to him. Mm-hmm. I said you got to push him back, you got to go to his body, and you got to make him uncomfortable. Yeah. I said make him reach those punches, make him miss those punches, you know, make him get uncomfortable. Yeah. I said that's how you beat him. He was on his way, man. Yeah. And I was tweet ready. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Definitely a good performance from yeah, Wilson. Yeah, he looked good. Yeah, good um, performance from Nava. I like to see him again. Yeah, of course. He's, I agree. I think he's got deceptive 
uh, power. And I, I think he gives. And he mentioned that when I talked to him, he's like, "Yeah, I'm, I got power on both hands." I'm like, "Yeah, everybody says that." Shut up. Yeah, I think <laughs> he, I think he gives. But he look, he look I think good. he gives like a a decent chunk of 130, like some trouble. Yeah, but I think Nav was obviously great. Yeah, I do hope the Valdez fight is next. That just makes sense. Uh huh. Um, we'll be a, you talk about an all action fight. Yeah. That's not gonna be a boring fight between Valdez and Navarrete. In Arizona, in Phoenix, I'm down for I'm down for in Arizona yeah. Yeah. or Vegas, preferably. Yeah, but you go um, if it's in Vegas. I try to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and then we we'll go to his room before the before the. I'm not giving him <laughs> a hug. I'm definitely not giving Chaco a hug. Um, and then coming up, one one uh, there's a boxer card, Adam Azim fights, and one of my favorite prospects in boxing, Carolyn Dubois, is back in the building, over in London this weekend. Mm. She's dynamite. Mm-hmm. And I, her brother's actually dynamite. <laughs> She's sweet Caroline. Is that his? his I think, isn't thing it thing? dynamite? Dynamite Damian know. Dubois? I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. But <laughs> I'm, she, I, she's one of my favorite prospects in all the game. I but, didn't know that. Um, yeah, so that I don't even know if that's televised here. But she fights. Adam Azim is the headliner. And then, is that his own? No, that's a boxer. So I, oh, yeah, okay. I don't even know if they have a TV deal over okay. here. But then there's a PVC card. Well, they've been with Walsam. Yeah, nice little PVC card. <laughs> what did you just say? We haven't had. When was the last PVC fight? Then what the hell did you just say though? You said put it on. No, I, my hair and stuff. Yeah, your hair and stuff. <laughs> but no, it's a PVC card. San Antonio. Um, Paro's back. Heavyweight matchup. Excited about that one. Uh-huh. He fights uh, Victor Faust, who's is also this, on, is this undefeated. his first fight back? Uh, no, he fought. He fought at least once since the all heavyweight card. Yeah. He fought the other Cuban fighter. Brazil. whole year. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, he fought it, I think, at least once more. But, uh-huh. uh, yeah. All Is under- he Cuban? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's the one that has, like, I think he's 4-1 and one against Frank Sanchez and the amateurs. Oh, okay. One was a walkover, I think. Okay. I think. Yeah. Pretty confident. The numbers might be off. That's just a that's just a medical thing. He's good. Walkover is yeah. Medical. But um, <laughs> he's good. Yeah, he, that's so all they're they're both undefeated, him uh-huh. and Victor Faust, both 30 as uh-huh. well. So it's nice. Um, undercard matchup. Oh, people, people always like that's a good fight. People love heavyweight fights. That's gonna be a good fight. Yeah, people love heavyweight fights, and having it as an undercard, I think, is a nice little bonus. What is sure. that? It's not. It's not Fox because I'm not working. So, Showtime. Yeah. So that is gonna be Army on Showtime. <laughs> uh, Mario Barrios is the co-main. Okay. Giovanni Santiago, who we saw fight the Cam Man before. Mm-hmm. A lot of people thought he gave the Cam Man a run for his money. Mm-hmm. Um, so he fights Barrios will be back. I expect uh, Barrios to bounce back. I do as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Barrios is going to still be at 147, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, Santiago, so he fought Broner, and then he fought Gary Antoine is, after that. Is uh, Barrios 0-2 in his last two fights, or did he have a fight between? No, he went tank. straight from he yeah. went straight from Tank, tank to Thurman. To yeah. yeah, so he's 0-2 in his last yeah. two. But I, yeah, was, bounce back. Yeah, and, and a first, like, you fought Keith at 47, but now you're fighting somebody who's not Keith Thurman at 47. Sure. So kind of get. Sure. Get that going. Sure. Um, and the main event, nice matchup. What is it? Oh, Shockey Foster and Ray Vargas. Oh, nice. So this is definitely the WBC title mm-hmm. at 130. <laughs> um, that was Shakur Stevenson's belt after Shakur. Okay. Up 35. Um, really good fight. Shockey, Shockey Foster. Done snuck, he done snuck in there. He's one of those fighters that, like, you heard his name a lot, uh-huh. but then it never, like, it never came to fruition, like a lot of fights. Like you were like, oh, you know, and and he, I think, feels he was avoided by certain fighters. Um, but yeah, that's it's a really good fight. Um, Vargas obviously moving up to one thirty mm-hmm. after uh, beating Max Isle for the title at twenty six. Mm-hmm. Both guys skilled. Both guys good offensive punchers. Not the best defensive fighters either of them, which makes for a fun fight. Night of boxing. I disagree. You think Oshaki's good? Oshaki uses his feet. Yeah, I just think no. I I, I agree for that for sure. Yeah. I think Oshaki. And I actually watched him fight on Ring City. Mm-hmm. You called his fight. Mm-hmm. I think he gets hit a little bit mm-hmm. from just from what I can recall. How three years ago, two years ago, when he was fighting, <laughs> um, he's fought since then. I've seen him since for then. for sure. And he, I, I think he was with Pro Bellum. I'm not sure where he is, what he's with currently. But um, no, it's a it's a really good fight. That's one that I have a tough time picking. Straight away a winner. Mm-hmm. I lean actually towards Oshaki Foster, I think. Mm-hmm. Vargas. Do I do. Vargas, I like Vargas. You know what's funny about Vargas? So he's he's yeah. obviously moving up to 130, and Oshaki's been at 130. Yeah. And Vargas is taller. <laughs> Vargas yeah. is like, yeah. and he's coming up from 22. Yeah. 
So he's like went twenty two. Coming up from twenty two. Yeah, he was at twenty two, and he fought Mike Sayo at twenty six, and now yeah. he's at. I think he fought additionally at twenty six. He's like five eight. No, he's got to be taller than that. How tall is Vargas? Five ten. I think he's five ten. Five five nine at most. Give me five ten. We got our researcher on this. Who is Vargas or Shockey? Vargas. Vargas. Yeah, he's five eight. I'm not buying it. On a good day, this guy he got the long arms. I'm not buying. Yeah, it. makes you makes you think. Guy's that. at least five ten. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a good. It, it's a good fight though. Um, I just feel like both of them are good enough. You not got the word right. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> you got it. Got that word. Go ahead. And this is effective. It's okay. just <laughs> stupid, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um, effective defense, like yeah. you know. I just I think both Oshaki <laughs> and Vargas are are good enough to beat the other one on their night. Yeah. And I do think this is gonna be an all action fight. Yeah. But I lean I lean Foster. I lean Vargas. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I lean Vargas. His fight with Magsai was good, but I think coming away from that, I was more frustrated with Magsai than I was impressed by Vargas. Not mm-hmm. to say that he didn't fight well, because mm-hmm. to win a fight, you have to fight well. Yeah. Um, I think Oshaki's going to try to counterpunch Vargas. I'm down for that. Yeah. And mm, I don't know. I think it'll be it'll be activity versus effectiveness of, of the counterpunch. Yeah. You know? Vargas is... I'm still doubting his height, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> Why? I, I'm I'm telling you, he's taller than that. I have a picture with him. I'll, I'll, we're like, well, if that's the case. He's five five. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I I think I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think it's kind of a sneaky, action packed fight. Um, yeah, I don't know. It'll be it'll be good. I'll be I'll be excited. I'll be tuned in. Uh-huh. I don't think there's anything else um, coming up this weekend. What you got? Super Bowl. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Five ten. I'm telling you, I swear. Let's go in the middle and say he's five eight. Five eight and a half. But <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl is this weekend. Yeah. Um, some are calling it the Kelsey Bowl, a matchup between Travis and Jason. I think Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Guys, gonna say I think Cleveland's calling the Kelsey. I have Bowl. I have a shirt on the way. Shout out to Homage, Homage dot com. Um, it's a Kelsey <laughs> Bowl shirt for their podcast, New Heights podcast. Oh, nice. So looking forward to that. But who do you uh, who do you favor? In oh, the Super nice Bowl? New Heights po- podcast. Huh? Yeah, because Cleveland Heights and yeah, New yeah, yeah. Heights. Come on, now, I know. you got it. <laughs> um, how do you like the uh how you like the matchup? I love the matchup. Styles make fights, man. I love this one because you got two quarterbacks that are young and can just make plays. Mm-hmm. You know, um you can go with the consistency of Mahomes. He's done it time and time again. He's he's come back. He's let off. I mean, he's won it in every other way you yeah. can win it. Um but then you got the young kid Hurts. Yeah. I love to see Philly do it. Definitely. I love to see um, uh, Hurts do it. What's his first name? Jalen. Jalen Hurts. I love to see Jalen Hurts do it. First ever matchup between two black starting quarterbacks, which is pretty damn cool. Very. And long overdue, in my opinion. You think so? I do. Got to get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you, that wasn't like, you I'm know. trying to think <laughs> how many years it's been since, because Doug Williams was the first black quarterback mm-hmm. to start in the Super Bowl and, and win the Super Bowl, that, I believe. Tampa Bay? Uh, Washington. 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 Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, Washington. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good matchup. I lean Philly based on defense. Mm-hmm. I like Philly's defense. Mm-hmm. Um, I like their running game. I like Miles Sanders, but uh, it's gonna be a great matchup. It's gonna this is gonna be a fun one to watch. Rihanna halftime show. I'm I'm here for that. Okay. You have a favorite Rihanna song off the top? Of your I head? do not. I just go. I'm. I just <laughs> go main. You know, I'm usually not the mainstream guy, but Umbrella. I, that's just a classic. To me. Why? Yeah. Yeah, I love Umbrella. But I Rihanna. Know. I think she's. I think she's gonna bring the show. Great performer by all standards. Great. Great uh, singer, but. Is there always a surprise in the Super Bowl? Typically. Right. I don't know who her surprise is. What do you expect? Be. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, she has a song with Eminem, so do you bring Eminem out? No thank you in my opinion. <laughs> but um, Eminem can flow, man. Yeah, I don't I don't know who uh I don't know who would be her surprise guest. Who'd you say? <laughs> yeah, that oh. I I don't know who yeah, I just don't know who would be I don't she doesn't have like a notable collab that like comes right. to mind. Sometimes right. I feel like it's even one that they don't even have like a collaboration with somebody. They just That's make, what it seems like. They make something happen. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Super Bowl. You going? No, I'm not going. <laughs> any any main sporting event that's not like a very uh, a Cleveland sporting event, and if you're going, that answers if I'm going. Oh, somebody said Drake. Pass. 
Lizzo. Shout out to Beyonce is the all has the most uh, Grammys of all time now. Saw that just uh, yesterday. Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good for her. I think I think that I might be making up the stat. She's the she has the most of something at the Grammys of all time. <laughs> I think it's the most of all time though. But um, yeah, any good questions coming up? I don't know. I don't know what we're at time wise. I'll let you do that. Oh. Yeah. I've Fair been enough. struggling all day. We're Sorry. At hour uh, five. That's not bad. Yeah, I've been struggling all day. I was like, uh, uh, I don't read too well. I don't. I don't read too good. I do all right. I don't know. Any any questions? Feel free to fire off some questions while we're here. Yeah, ask Carson some things while he's here. Uh, no, no telling. Yeah, I'm gonna scroll him. back and see if there's any. Uh, Might get him next week. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine. I don't imagine so. Oh, uh, let's let real quick. Uh, I know what? a lot of people y'all are concerned <laughs> about oh, this fit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Concerned about this fit. Let me stand up for y'all. Real Please quick. don't show y'all. It's, how, how, how we do it. You haven't stood up yet on my. Ah, ah. Oh, there you go. That's yeah, unbelievable. Got those up there. First off, this dust just went flying everywhere. Don't tell Blue Wire that. <laughs> they saw it. That anyone on the YouTube stream could see that. Um, went down to uh, Mexico. I'll re- recap real, or uh, do the story one more time. Yeah. And then we'll show my video because it's fun and funny, and you guys are gonna love it. And if you don't. Uh, went down to Guadalajara, Mexico with my wife and my two kids for her primo's 40th birthday. We had a really good time down there. And um, the theme for the party was uh, cowboy. And this is the port away, man. We don't, we don't, we don't hold back. You know, we do it all. Uh, this I actually bought for another time, and it just happened to be the day. The boots specific. Are you for, super warm in that right now? No, nah, I feel good. I feel great. Okay. I always I always run hot though, so I always oh, like, yeah. as you know I'm always shorts and shorts and a t-shirt. No, this is like real dove too. This is like is that, dope, dope. This is dope. What you got? Is that jacket from the Danny Garcia video? No, it's not. Oh, it's the Macho Man Randy Savage. No, it's not. Um, well, anyway, so so we we end up hanging out with our family all night. We yeah. had a great time. We was dancing, kicking it, and uh, show the clip right quick. That was about a minute longer than it needed to be. I won't lie to you. We had a good time, man. I love Spanish music, and um, maybe y'all will get some clips of me doing some salsa. Uh, you know the hip ain't all that, so <laughs> it was a lot of up and down uh, you might that get night. Trying and, uh, eating salsa, but I'm not was, sure about doing salsa. Yeah, and that was definitely one of the down moments there. One of any the, questions uh, outside uh, of my outfit? Yeah, uh, somebody was asking... <laughs> If we're gonna have another meet and greet and let us in on paintball, I think maybe Benavidez plant makes sense. Benavidez plant makes a whole lot of sense. Is that Mar- March twenty fifth? March twenty fifth. Yeah. Oh, that's March twenty fifth. Which I also believe. I think there's some wrestling here the day before. Mm. Yeah, you might catch me flying through a table somewhere. <laughs> I actually watched the Royal Rumble recently. By yeah, the way, yeah, which, you, which yeah, you texted that time, the other day, but. Uh, yeah, uh, I know Ant had announced something, and so he and I, we were definitely going to put our heads together and figure this out, but we were talking about doing a meet and greet, um, having y'all hang out with us, watch the fights with us, all those different types of things. So we'll figure out how to make that work. We will definitely be doing a week of lives for uh, Benavidez and Plant. I know there's a, some time to go before we get there, yeah. but I um, just want to uh, say that right now while we're here. And then Larry, uh, Larry Drummond, shout out to 86 Clothing. What he, up, Larry? He wants to know how do you guys like the matchup between Stephen Fulton and Naoya Inouye? Sir, I My defer. Best fight in boxing. 
again, I said it last How? week, is the best fight in boxing. First off, the best fighter in boxing is that guy. Yeah. The monster. Yeah. Best fighter in boxing. Oh, boy, he said one. it, not me. I just think he's the best. But I, I told you as we were walking up here, if in a way loses to Fulton, you tip your cap. This like, is one of the fights where you can't argue. And if Fulton loses to way, yeah, yeah, you lost to the best fighter in boxing. Yeah. And if you lose to Fulton, Fulton, he skyrockets up the pound for it's pound list as well. It's a hell of a matchup. Great matchup. I agree with you 100% what you did. The best yeah. fight in boxing. I think that might not be have like the excitement around it that Which other it fights have. Stop putting your hope and <laughs> your your heart and soul into these fights that may or may not happen. That fight is happening. And it is a great matchup, but yeah, but uh, I think from a stylistic standpoint, I mean, it's it's spot on. We've seen Cool Boy can do a lot of different things, and we've seen Inua just have stone in both hands, yeah, and and have a style of both being aggressive and and fighting off at the back foot as well. I mean, that's we got no questions. It's a great fight. Um, cool, no questions today. Yeah. Uh, but thank you, you for tuning your, in. You got motivation? <clears throat> Nothing. I got a little bit. I got a little bit of motivation. I always got some motivation. Okay. Um, real quick, uh, we'll do Rival, uh, rivalboxing.com. Um, enter your country, enter your uh, equipment, and then enter promo code PPWP15. Get 15% off anything, not everything, but anything, almost anything that you want. Uh, also, our Patreon is coming um, very, very soon. Um, we are a week away from finishing the studio. And uh, when we finish the studio, we will be in there uh, whenever Ant's available, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're going we're gonna to get this going really, really soon. So we want to thank everybody who has already subscribed, and we want to encourage you guys to continue to subscribe. All that being said, sir, you are not the motivator here. I am. So, Who, somebody said that in there? No, no, no. I'm just saying it. I'm buying time so I can think of something. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to think if I have a lyric off the top of my head. Yeah, give, give, oh, give okay. How about uh, let me bear it all when I'm telling God? You know, I'm a rant when I talk to Ja. Ja, who? Ja Morant. <laughs> and Ja, also another name for God. Oh, you're right. I like that. And Bear, he plays for the Grizzlies. Bear it all. I got it. I got Shout it. Shout out to GID. Have my favorite album of last year. But. Um, Let's see here. Let's just go off the word commitment. Um, you guys have to, uh, you guys. Let's see. Um, well, and that's what we'll do. We'll go off the word commitment. Uh, understand that whatever you put your time into, whatever you put your energy into, whatever you put your focus into, it's going to give it right back to you. Um, I'm actually going through a, a marriage book right now, and it said that uh, the things that you worship are the things that mean the most to you. And it doesn't mean worship in the context of getting down on your knees and, and, and praying to whatever the video game, if you like to play games all the time. If you're committed to the games, guess what? When you go to sleep, you're going to be dreaming about those games. When you wake up, gaming is going to be what's on your mind. I'm not saying that that's bad or anything. All I'm simply saying is find what you want to commit your time to, what you want to quote-unquote worship, and that's what you will become. You will become anything that you commit your time to. You saw me become a world champion boxer. You saw we had Alicia Baumgartner on earlier, Alicia Baumgartner on earlier. She is a, an undisputed junior lightweight champion. She says, I, this is what all I wanted. This, is, this was my goal. She committed her time to it. It doesn't matter what you want to do in life. You have to be committed and don't allow anything to tap your shoulder and turn you away from it. Stay committed. This is the quarter